Hi and welcome everyone. This is Keith B1 with uh, Republic Wireless's LG Optimus S. And um, one of the things I wanted to hit on today, it was actually asked um, a couple times of me, is uh, navigation um, applications. And there are many out there. Once again, you, you're welcome to try them to see which works best for you. Um, I uh, was fortunate enough to find this one here this uh, little, it's called navigation and I, I got it from the Android Marketplace. What One of the best things about this that I found is actually a speech recogn uh, recognition system for um, the destination you're going to because obviously it has the GPS so it knows where you are currently located and if you hit on that what it does is um, it, it figures out what you're looking for and I'm actually going to give you an example today right now if you hit on the speech as you can see there are many you can type in the destination or you can go by a contact if you've been there before or if you have a, a place that you've um, started a map already you can actually just click on it what I'm gonna do is once again let me try this now I'm gonna do the speak 1022 North Main Street Providence Rhode Island As you can see, it's actually giving me a couple of choices. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick the correct one. And now it's actually it's going to give me the driving directions from where I currently am to there. And it actually, let's see if it pops up, um, it'll begin speaking. Um, and it will give you turn-by-turn -turn, um, vo voice directions as well as giving you a video um, m much as as I have with my own uh, Magellan GPS unit and the reason I would actually had it was I don't always carry around my GPS with me so um, there was one day just uh, before the holidays that um, a friend had asked me to stop by um, and when I, while I was out shopping and I said well unfortunately I don't have my GPS with me but then I thought well you know what I actually have my phone and um, the installed application so I punched it in and sure enough it worked as I as I said you can actually you can go right through it and look at what your roots gonna be which I thought was quite interesting and um, with this you can actually zoom in if you want to zoom in closer so you can actually get a better look at okay you know what streets you're gonna hit and you can one once again zoom out and go backwards on your uh, your map. Um, there's actually holders for you if you want to put one up in your car. Um, on the whole, let's get out of that. On the whole, um, voice settings. One of the things that's important that I found out is the more you work with it, um, the better the the phone starts to learn um, your voice and the tonality. Uh, let's try this one. Voice inputs. <clears throat> As you see, there's, there's a voice recognition settings and text-to-speech settings. And I just want to show you a couple of quick things. If you look at right here on the top, it says listen to an example. Why don't we click on that? This is an example of speech synthesis in English with Pico. Okay, now if that sounds, if that's a little slow for you, what you can do is if you look down here, there's a speech rate. Let's go into the speech rate. As you can see, it's not very slow. Let's put it on normal. Let's do that again. This is an example of speech synthesis in English with Pico. And if that's still too slow for you, you can actually put it on very fast and do it again. This is an example of speech synthesis in English with Pico. Now, some people, obviously, that might be a little fast. And others, it might be just fine. Um, there are many things you can do. Um, with You can pick languages. Um, and you can have this always use my own settings which of course is what I have uh, on so this way I don't have to worry about um, picking on it uh, you know as many times as this and I will go into the voice recognizer settings and with this there's a couple of options you can see block offensive words personalized recognition if you look under that you'll see right here that it says 
improve speech recognition accuracy. With this checked, what happens is, since it's your phone and you're going to be using it the most, it actually makes the most sense to have it checked because it's going to help learn, you know, the words from your voice. Um, because obviously throughout any country, there's going to be different, you know, dialects and people are going to have accents and, and it just, it makes it easier that your phone, being a smartphone, is going to learn, you know, more of what, you know, your vocal range is. So thus, uh, you and it will learn together, you know, what you might need to enunciate better, be your R's or your S's and obviously me being, you know, from New England, uh, we kind of, uh, our lax on our R's with the whole, you know, examples of like park your car. Um, so for that, it, it actually comes in really handy. Um, just some things that you can actually work with. Um, everything's basically trial and error, as it has been for me. And as I said, uh, with these applications, you might find some in the Android Marketplace. You might find some um, in the in, in the uh, Amazon App Store. There might be some other places you find it, but. Um, it, it's all trial and error with yourself. You, you find out what works best for you, but just realize, I mean, there are, you know, hundreds of thousands of apps out there that just can make your day, your life, you know, so much easier from day to day, week to week, month to month. Um, once again, I, I hope this is uh, an aid in helping everyone uh, get to their uh, knowing their phone and having it work uh, best for you. Um, have a good day.